Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, wait, before we can get into that, so my filming setup has changed and I am in my husband's house which is awesome uh, because I do have like a dedicated room just for filming and uh, I also have a table which is something that I wanted for a very long time with a big ass mirror and I have ample amount of natural lighting which is something I craved for in my parents house because I was filming in my bedroom which was very teeny and tiny zero natural light and that is the reason and also there was a lot of space constraint and that's the reason why I was usually a little bit more closer but right now it's I think kind of okay from what I can see in the viewfinder but uh, yeah so please bear with me because I'm still trying to figure out the lighting situation and also there could be some noise so just FYI uh, because the road is very close by and there could be some vehicle noise or uh, squirrels or dogs and uh, pigeons and crows or whatever so yeah so please do bear with me things will be changing for the better hopefully so yeah coming back to today's video i am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the l18 liquid lipsticks now they do offer about 20 shades and i have all the 20 shades with me and for foundation shade reference i'm nc40 in mac and in maybelline i am 310 sun beige now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video <laughs> Now coming to the description, there's not much mentioned and I picked all of these shades off of Nykaa and there's not much mentioned about the product. But then they do offer about 20 shades like I mentioned before and these are priced at 120 rupees for 5.6 ml of product. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches.
right so let's go over the formula the pros and the cons now firstly these are very thin and liquidy in consistency however you do have to apply like two layers or a double tip to get the full opacity of the shade and also these do take about like 30 to 40 seconds to completely dry down and once it does it sets to a pure matte finish and it is very comfortable lightweight and thin on the lips it doesn't feel like you're wearing any liquid lipstick at all and these do not make your lips feel dry or it's not sticky or tacky nor is it crumbly when you press your lips together these are transfer proof and mask proof as well like for example there is zero transfer and these also last for like about four to five and a half hours and once you do have a heavy meal this is how it looks like and as you guys can see if you do press your lips together you do get like a sheer coverage of the original color now for the removal of these liquid lipsticks micellar water will do the work however i would highly recommend using like an oil based remover like i use a garnier oil infused micellar water and that works like a charm and now for the fii the first point is that it does have a very artificial bubblegummy kind of a smell now it could be a bit strong for some of them who do have sensitive you know to strong scents so just fii for those you may not like it however it does not linger for a long time it does disappear after like a minute or so now for the second point is that some of the darker shades they do leave a stain especially the purple colors now they do leave a stain and i was trying to do the lip swatch like you know applying a foundation over it and it legit looked like as though my lips were bruised you know like when you get a bruise and then it kind of starts healing in a way it becomes purpley bluish color that's how my lips were so yeah Oh, and another quick FYI, which I almost forgot to mention, is that these are a proper dupe of the Lakme Forever Matte Liquid Lipsticks because the packaging is exactly the same of both. So this is the L18 one and this one is the Lakme one and they are almost identical. Even the applicators in both of them are the same. The formula also, I feel, is the same. It's just that the smell is different in both. They both have that artificial smell to it, but yeah. And now for the cons, there are two points. The first point is that the sponge on the applicator is a little bit hard or thin, I could say, because it is a bit stiff on application. And I personally prefer it to be a little bit more softer on the lips when applying it. And they were one or two liquid lipsticks where the sponge was very thin, I think so. So I could feel that stick thing inside it kind of hurting my lips when I was applying it. I hope I'm making sense but this is something which is a very personal preference but I'm still putting it as a con because yeah now for the second con is the smell now I did mention earlier that you do have that artificial bubblegummy kind of a smell but for some of the shades there was a bit of a medicinal kind of a smell now imagine if you go into a medical shop it has that weird smell right or if you have like a medicine box all the capsules and your medicines tablets and all are kept in it has a smell that kind of a smell is what I got off of some of the shades. So yeah, that is a second con for me. So overall, in my personal opinion, I do not find the cons to be like a huge deal breaker. And I do love this collection, especially because of the formula on how comfortable it is on the lips. It's not drying, it's not crumbly, it's not tacky or it's not sticky. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any lipstick at all. And also these are transfer proof and mask proof as well, which is great. And I also love some of the shades in this. They have some unique purple shades. And I love the shade that I'm wearing right now, which is Tony Wood. I freaking love this color a lot. So yeah, I do highly recommend this collection. And uh, yeah, these were my thoughts on the L18 liquid lip color and guys, this wraps today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try to it for you as well as follow me on my socials which is a channel on instagram and a channel on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye